Ah, yeah. oh, I think you do me hearties. It's just me, Scotty McClure. A very, very good morning to you. I thought we'd do a quick pop-up and say hi to everybody. Fantastic this Sunday morning. Excellent stuff. Time coming up to half past ten. It's about uh, 10.28, I think. Hello, hello, Scooby-Doo. There we are. Best of the morning to you, Scotty, and to you, Peter. How lovely it is to have you with us. We'll not be up for long, but it's always lovely to pop up and just see everybody. If you can get following me, if you haven't followed, then please do. How's your Sunday going? My Sunday, Scooby-Doo, is absolutely excellent. So there you are, fantastic stuff, and a big dinky do to you. Anybody do you know anything about windscreen wipers? Are they universal? Do these all these little plastic adapters? Will there be one for everything? There we are. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Terminator dinky do strawberry Bob. How lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome. This is the time to pop up. Half past ten, just coming up. Fit like a day, Scotty. Still, sir. Fit like yourself. Who's your doos? Ah, I'm just chuffing a wall and chuffing a wall. Ken, fantastic. Have you had your breakfast? Did you hear? Softies and uh, maybe a rowy or two, uh, a battery. Hate uh, crisp. Hate crisp. Morning, Scotty. Absolutely. What a great Sunday to be alive and kicking. Peter, you are 100% correct. Excellent stuff. Get following, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Are you involved in Scottish politics? I'm actually sort of apolitical, to be quite honest with you, but I know a tremendous amount about Scottish politics because I've been studying it for 50 years. So I do have an idea of what I'm talking about, but uh, I've been invited to be a politician at Westminster. I've never been invited to be a politician at Holyrood. So there we have it. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Uh, what you can do, Scooby-Doo, go on to the YouTube channel, which is Scotty McClue, Voice of the World, Radio Talk Show, a nice humble title. Scotty McClue, Voice of the World, will do it for you. And if you look that up in your search engine and go on and put in Scotty McClue Talks to John Gaunt about Scottish independence, that will tell you what is what? Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Anton. Very, very kind of you. Uh, Scotty, do you have a YouTube? Yes, Anton. Uh, that's the one we were just talking about there. So you just look up Scotty McClue YouTube channel, and uh, that will take you straight to it. Another quick way to it is if you look at my TikTok bio. Uh, so look at the little bio at my TikTok right on here, and you'll get a direct link to the YouTube channel. Uh, so please pop over, subscribe and tap the bell. Absolutely 100% free, and that'll get you your notifications. What are you doing today? Uh, well, I've got lots and lots on today, but I'm going to fix a windscreen wiper. But I need people that know what they're talking about there. What did you have for your brekkie this morning, pal? Well, David, it's a bit of a confession. We had a wee fry up this morning with a lawn sausage and a wee skinny link, and an egg. What? Stop. Don't tell anybody. Love it, Scotty. Absolutely, Peter. No problem at all. Thank you. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thank you, Corbun. Very, very kind of you. Get following Scotty McClue, because, guys, this is huge. Although I say it myself, Scotty McClue is known to 2 billion people worldwide. So it's not just a flash in the pan, as they say. And I'm sitting up the Campsie Hills watching you. Volvo, Gary, what a wonderful place. Are you in the car park overlooking that incredible view? Karim from Glasgow has sent me lots of gifts. Anton Raff has sent me tennis balls. Uh, Kareem, you've just become a top one viewer. How amazing is that? Thank you, do. And thank you for your TikTok. Kareem is such a lovely, kind person. He really is. It's amazing. Amazing. Guys, uh, get following. Now, there's loads and loads of TikTok videos, so you have no excuses for I wish Scotty would entertain us. You know what I mean? 
Yes, I'm in the car park of from Milton of Kempsey. What a lovely place to be from, Volvo Gary. We love it, absolutely. Follow us as soon as you possibly can. Love you, granddad, says 666 Lesbian. Thank you, lesbian. Very, very kind of you. Uh, do you like uh, the police, says Morris. So there you are. Um, well, I mean, everybody likes the police, Morris, and respects them. So I assume you should be the same. Yes, indeed. Respect the Bobbies, I say. Follow us as soon as you can. What team do you support? Well, I don't support any team financially anymore. Uh, so there you have it. Now, who have we got here? Hello, Scotty. Thank you to Henry. How lovely to have Henry with us. That is tremendous. Wonderful stuff. Excellent. Now, remember never ever to troll. So there we are. Now, what have we got? Morris says that uh, he had a run-in with the local Bobby. So there we have it. Well, Morris, you need to behave yourself. Absolutely. Scotty, would you go back to radio? Anton, I may well do. There are conversations taking place as we speak about Scotty McClure going back in radio, but it needs to be the right thing. There's also a new television talk station. I don't know if it's my bag or not, they haven't been in touch, but there used to be a golden rule in the UK media. The first step, if you're starting a television or radio station, is you speak to Scotty McClue, either for his consultancy skills or for his on-air talent. Well, what can I say? You can't say fairer than that. I used to listen to you years ago, says Anton. Well, Anton, get onto the YouTube channel. There's lots of quality stuff. And also check out all the TikTok videos. Uh, you know, tremendous stuff. We've been uploading a few press cuttings and things like that. And they're very, very popular. Uh, Bobby from Bears Down says, I had a breakfast roll with bacon, uh, a slice sausage, egg, Mushrooms, black pudding, and a tatty scone. All in the one roll. You're on a roll, Bobby Bill's Den. Uh, Scotty, what's your favorite soup? Oh, I have so many favorite soups. What about cauliflower? Cream of cauliflower. What about scotch broth? What about lentil? What about tomato? What about homemade chicken soup? with a little bit of fat floating around the top. What about, um, what about uh, broccoli soup, lettuce soup? Have a wee think about that, guys. Absolutely incredible. There we are. Now, what have you got? Heisenberg, I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, made it yesterday, cauliflower, that is heaven, Kimba. Cauliflower soup, cream of cauliflower. Stop. Anybody up for asparagus as a soup? That's a very, very good soup. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. What's your thoughts on the Ukraine? A bit of a shame for them. Oh, Anton, yes, of course. And, uh, you know, it's good we come to the rescue, but I don't know why Vladimir Putin started all this. It wasn't really a smart move, and he is a smart man. So it's uh, it's very, very strange. But there we have it. You still can be a tomato soup. Have you ever had a homemade tomato soup? I mean, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> Are we drinking water? I shan't be so base as to do any advertising on here, but, um, you know, there is a well-known uh, proprietary brand of soup, uh, tomato soup, which is very, very nice. That with a bit of toast of stop. For goodness sake, whereabouts in Scotland are you from, Scotty? Well, um, originally uh, Greenock on the Clyde, yeah, Greenock, I got corrected. It's actually Greenock, Greenock of the Green Oak Tree. But you get um, people uh, trying to correct you from where you're from. And the only people that I've seen that just will not tolerate this at all are Yorkshire people. 
You know, if you try and correct a Yorkshire person, they will just absolutely go for you. They're brilliant. Nice chatting, Scott. Hey, going to have a look at your YouTube. And I would, because there's lots of wee gems on there. There's over 3,000 videos. It's the world's best kept secret. And please do subscribe. There we are. Have you been to Helensburgh? I used to go to Helensburgh six to eight times a day from Gurk because I walked on the Gurk to Helensburgh ferry. I'm from Bailiston. We love it, Mrs. Larney from Bailiston. I know it so well. You're very near to where real radio used to be. Uh, my late mother made the most amazing tomato soup. Oh, Jack. Jack, tomato soup, outstanding. You can't beat it, I always say. It's just fantastic. Uh, who else do we have with us? Uh, follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Thanks, as Anton. Not at all, Anton. Lovely to have you with us. You enjoy that. As I say, it's filled with wee treats. And, uh, you know, send it round. Guys, make sure you subscribe to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. You'll see it on the TikTok bio. There we have it. I remember Real Radio. It was great. It was good, Danny, wasn't it? Follow us as soon as you can. Do you remember Scott FM? That was the absolute jewel in the crown until some silly people got a hold of it. What's your thoughts on Perth in Scotland, Scotty? Well, I used to go with a girl from Perth, a lovely, lovely girl from Perth. And uh, I also used to work in Pitlochry. And I know Perth very, very well indeed. The Perth Theatre. I used to go to the Perth Theatre to watch Walter Carr and Leon Sinden and people like that. Wonderful stuff. Have you had the real radio wind-ups? They're the best. Well, of course, Heisenberg. I used to work with Robin Galloway. And we did a handover in the morning and the audience went through the roof. The two of us just bantering on. Yes, Robin did the breakfast and I did the mid-morning. Jackie from Fife says, loved Scott FM. Fantastic stuff. The Real Radio Renegade. Jackie, I got asked at the station if I was the Real Radio Renegade. Somebody came up to said, excuse me, are you the Real Radio Renegade? I said, no, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. I'm Scotty McClure. <laughs> Uh, who's the most famous person you've ever met? Oh, Ian, I've met so many. Because uh, if you think about it, working on television and radio stations, all the famous people come in to see you. So, uh, you know, I've met so many famous people, I can't tell you. Um, I think probably one of the most famous would be Prince Charles. So there you are. If you have a look at the TikTok videos, there we are. You made my day kind, sir, for that. I thank you. Not a talking Bob. And dinky do. Uh, I've met Jessica Lange in London. Fantastic, Mrs. Lannery. There we are. There's so many wonderful people about, but people are just people. And um, as I say, two billion people know Scotty McClure. So I suppose the most famous person I've met would be myself. <laughs> what about that for humility? Uh, have you ever been, would you, you would have been an awesome renegade. Jackie, yes, of course, we could have had great fun. Oh, God, loved your radio shows years ago when you used to cut them off. Absolutely, ihasa, and still do if we get a half-witted idiot. What we do on here, you get trolls sometimes, and they think they'll say lavatorial nonsense or get you to say a, a, a slightly risque word. And what we do with them, we obviously don't cut them off because they're not funny, but we send them doing the swanny. So have you ever, it's a golden rule now on TikTok. Once you've found Scotty McClue, you never need to scroll ever again. And you never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClue. Isn't that brilliant? You've probably never heard of it. I live in a wee village called Balbeggy in Scotland. I know Balbeggy very, very well indeed. So what do you mean never heard of it? In fact, I think I used to drive through Balbeggy every morning, you know, just, uh, just refresh my mind, and I'll tell you. 
<coughs> Who have we got? Bobby from Bear's Den. Neil Oliver on GB News has ended up like David Icke. Uh, Cloud Cookerland, well, no, Bobby, that's just an opinion of yours. Both Neil Oliver and David Icke are incredibly brilliant men. I haven't interviewed Neil Oliver, but I have interviewed David Icke, and my goodness, was he interesting. And he was also as interesting off air as he was on air. So I don't really, uh, yes, some of the stuff you think this is a bit of a stretch here, but uh, quite interesting, you know. So I never kind of uh, blank people that, you know, I mean, Scots are very bad for this. If somebody comes up with something they don't fully understand, they go, oh, rubbish. Do you see what I mean? But these are two very, very brilliant men, Bobby. So I would have another listen with an open mind. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Leroy, thank you for following. Thank you. Uh, remember, these are people who get discredited because they may well be stumbling on things that are happening. Hello, long time no speak, Neo Pizza Man. How lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. This is great, guys. This is absolutely great. I used to live in Loch Goyle Head for a bit. Well, Mrs. Lannery, I mean, where does one live for a bit nowadays? Um, but uh, Loch Goyle Head, I love. But because they don't any longer have the steamships, the steamships used to visit Loch Goyle Head all the time. And, of course, the outdoor centre... But one of the reasons I've never lived in Loch Goyle Head is there's only one road in and one road out. And even, in fact, I think recently the road out which and in, which joins the main road, the main road's had problems, hasn't it, with land slips and stuff like that. We need to bring the steamships back. Oh, wow, fair enough. What some stuff you know about Balbeggy? Well, Ian, tell me a little bit more. If you give me the location again, I'll tell you that we're talking about the same place. There we are. So give me a little bit. Give us your nearest main road. Have you ever been to Ochtertool, Scotty? I've been to virtually everyone in Scotland, Jackie. It's, uh, it's quite tremendous. It's a wonderful country. I'm not very well traveled abroad. Well, I suppose I've been to. Greece, I've been to Crete, I've been to France, I've been to Germany, I've been to Austria, I've been to Belgium, um, I've been to Portugal, um, I've been to Holland, the Netherlands. So I suppose I have travelled, I've been to Austria, Austrich, Österreich, yeah, 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 Vienna, um, you know, so uh, Salzburg. So I suppose I have travelled a bit, but I'm very, very, very well travelled in the UK and have lived in most of the major cities. There we are, Monic Captain from a sunny Norfolk. Neil, we love you in Norfolk. Correct, says Kim Bob. Alan Graham has had a wee accident. So please no laughing at Alan Graham 5, guys. He's had an accident. Alan, I'm sorry. You've had a wee accident. I hope you managed to get sorted out. I don't know if you've got a missus and she could may maybe get you some fresh clothing. So there we have it. So uh, guys, please uh, please pray for Alan Graham 5 with his wee problem. Uh, but you'll know where it is. You know, you should be able to do that yourself, Alan. Dinky-doo, how do you know? Have the Saturday night shows stopped, Scotty? Well, I hope not. Because we were on last night from 9 till 10. <laughs> you should be joining us. Chris Rideout, good morning, Scotty. Any plans today? A nice roast dinner. Chris, you can't beat a roast dinner, I always say. Uh, huge plans for today. I'm going to have to go in a minute anyway. But uh, lovely being with you. Great chat. Have to go. We'll pop in again. Kim Bob, do that. Because we always have great chat on here. I went on the Waverley to Loch Goyle Head, 500 got off for 30 minutes and got eaten alive with midges. Ah, Bobby Bear's Den. I don't, would that be extra charge? 
There we are. And Scotty, I'm watching from Dubai. We love you in Dubai, little GB. There we are. Fantastic. Hello, Umbongo. Do you have... Do you know what that is? Callum, to be honest with you. So if, if, if I don't know what it is, I probably don't have it. <laughs> That's a two more minutes, guys. And then we're going to have to dash off. It's been an absolute blast. Remember to follow me. Remember to watch every single TikTok video and to like and share. And thank you for my 3,200 likes this morning. That's incredible. Two more minutes. Uh, what do you think of the new Queen Street Station? I like the old one as well, Mrs. Lannery. But uh, it's very swish. Very swish. You know, you can't fault it, I say. Uh, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you all with us. Fantastic stuff. There's Louise just joining us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We've got one more minute. And then Scotty McClue has to absolutely blow from TikTok for the now. But remember, we do lots of random pop-ups. So I would suggest that you set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live. Because we're just like a huge, massive club. It's fantastic. Uh, so there we have it. Max Powers just joined us. Dinky do. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Can you download your old shoes, your old shows? I thought you said your old shoes on MP3s from your website. I think you probably can. I mean, help yourself, I would say, Bobby. Uh, the website, over 10 million have visited, www.scotty-mcclue.com. Guys, thank you for following. Thank you, Lenny, for following. So very, very good of you all. Guys, I'm going to sing you the goodbye song. There's Nimu. Nimu's just sent me a beautiful, beautiful red rose. Thank you, Nimu. Right, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheerio. See you, my love. Stay great. Care of yourselves. Have a gorgeous day. Until we all meet again, stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. Bye-bye.